Let's see how closures work. Here I have a simple straightforward example. I have a function definition named create counter and inside I have defined an e variable with the value 0 and I will return a anonymous function that will increment the e um, variable. And then I have to find a simple x variable that will execute this create counter and it will return this function here. So let's see what happens. <coughs> I will execute it and as you can see it uh, here we as as I said I have uh, this function here and uh, every time it increments e. But this is a strange behavior because in the majority of programming languages you are not able to do this because at this point the execution context is gone and uh, how it is possible that uh, the x variable have access to this e here how it is possible that remembers uh, whenever I call it remembers uh, the value um, before and uh, uh, let's do like this I will put a simple breakpoint here and execute another time x and as you can see I have uh, e and it prints out 4 so you have a closure when you are able to see the outer scope even when the execution context is gone so, for example, if you see here, I am able to see the i variable. And uh, as you can see here, we have a closure of create counter with the value 4. You have enclosed in only the used variables. Uh, let's see another example so maybe I can clarify this point. Uh, here I will create another variable b I will assign to it the value 5 okay save refresh <coughs> execute b and uh, as you can see here uh, we have uh, the same result and uh, I will put a simple breakpoint here at 5 execute another time and uh, here we go. You have the e variable, but we can see the e variable, but here we don't have the b. So we, we are able to see the e, but not the b. And if I write right here the e variable, uh, I can see it, but if I write b, I can't, I'm not able to see it because um, the execution context is gone and you have a enclosed in only the used variable so we have enclosed in the e and uh, we are not able to see the other variables so right now whenever we call the x variable we're able to access the e uh, variable and the state is saved so it doesn't lose uh, the information about the e variable and uh, that's it